many footballers who get to testimonial at a football club any longer. Certainly not in the pat and thrust and the ruthless business world that is the League One, League Two reaches where he's played a lot of his career. Uh, it is a real landmark occasion. Just resiliency as well, Ash. You know, there's a lot of, dare I say it, physical football played in the, in the divisions he's played in, but he's played that amount of games that you mentioned. He's shown loyalty to this club. Uh, this club that continues to punch above their weight, Wickham Wanderers, they were very unfortunate to go down a couple of years ago in the championship. So congratulations to Joe Jacobson. Of course, I'll focus on Cardiff City today, but it's, it's a nice moment. And all four sides of the ground uh, rising to greet Joe Jacobson as he came out. Cardiff City fans giving him the welcome that he deserves. And uh, he'll want the, uh, the ceremonies over with now. They're all wide forward as well. It's a good switch ball from Wintle. Grimmer with eyes on it, though. Known Grimmer over the years, come through the ranks at Fulham. That's a loose pass given away. Here's Shea Ojo, 54 on the back. Chance to shoot, it's a deflection. That'll be an early corner for Cardiff City. Started brightly against Porto. Adams has Odauda wide on this near side. Grant, though, goes through Ramsey instead. Oh, he just looked for Adams for the layoff. Wasn't quite wise to it. Hard ball hung up to the back post, still there for City. Nice touch from Adams. Just feathers it to Perry. No doubt it. Plenty of Wickham jerseys back in the box to defend the cross. And Cardiff try and take the Route 1 approach instead. And a wayward shot by Ryan Wintle. Grant and Ramsey just look already to have a little bit of an understanding. Their movement is good. Uh, they're comfortable playing one-touch football very, very early days and uh, very early stages of this match. But we saw a little bit when Ramsey came off the bench in Portugal as well. Get the Finney defensive line right across the edge of the 18-yard box. It's looking for Ugbo deep. It's a lovely ball, and a decent effort from Ugbo to get that back in the six-yard box, but comfortable enough for Strijek. Brecken, right footed and swinger, dealt with by Simpson. Keogh. Robbed by Simpson. Here's Grant. Ramsey for support. He's got Ojo to his right, pouring forward. It's a lovely ball from Ramsey to thread the defender. Forces Ojo a little wide. Oh no, the return ball catches Ramsey by surprise. Free kick to Wickham. I think OJ just wasn't expecting the ambitious ball. Ramsey again with the set piece, headed away by Hanlon. Adams in a tussle with Dale Taylor that the Northern Irishman does well to scurry away from. As an option in Brecken centrally, but Ojo there, match for match, then <laughs> produces an alarmingly good tackle from Shea Ojo at full stretch to block Hanlon's speculative effort from the edge of the area. Uh, yeah, Matt Bloomfield has organised his side very well. It's, I think it's his team now, nine new signings this summer. I think that's onside. That's a good ball. Ojo has checked his run. Boys has forced him back, looking for support. Little roll back heel to Ramsey. Byline cross is dealt with, though, by Grimmer. Might drop to Adams, does drop to Adams, but that's a wild lash with his right boot. And somebody's going to have to go hunting through the hedges for that pitch really and, and force Cardiff to play in the middle third. Cardiff if they could go long again someone running off the shoulder of Keogh. Balls on the outside of Ogdowda and Grant has to check his run here tries to dig it out. Ramsey with a flick on oh, it's just avoided the back post. Strijek was stricken in goal That's inches away from a lovely goal involvement from Aaron Ramsey. He might make it this Ramsey lad. <laughs> Outrageous improvisation, just a flick a heel at it. I would ask again for all the, the good football, has Max Strijek really been forced into a save? It still concerns me we're not creating out-and-out -out chances. Yes, yeah, the, the Ramsey combination with Ojo is the one you point out that really should have led to, yes. a, to a strike on goal. Outside of that, nothing you can confirm out. There might be a save needed to be made, it is by Oldsop. 
good combination play between Hanlon and Taylor. They've bedded down quite nicely. There's a left-footed delivery from Leahy. Headed back in by Taylor. Simpson needed a call by a teammate. He's conceded the corner with a glancing header, and really, he needed a shout to be able to duck out the way of it. He now us over to that side. Takes up the mantle. He's got Ojo making a run. It goes via Ragbo, though, in the box. Back to Ramsey, edge of the area. Straight down the throat of Strijek, but with Venom. Yeah, I think the initial Ramsey ball was meant for Ojo, but Ogbo, yeah, that was better. Composure, turned on it, saw his man, got his head up. He realised the error of his ways immediately, that he, he wasn't the intended target of that ball. So, to, uh, to make dividends, immediately looked for the return to Ramsey. You do get the sense Aaron Ramsey will get this ball off any teammate at any point that he wants mm. it. Mm. There's an air of authority about the Cardiff and Welsh captain. Kudas has settled in quite nicely. Certainly understands his role as a distributor in this team. It's good from Ramsey. Gets it back from Grant. Crossfield ball is pin perfect onto the chest of Ojo. Lovely back heel to Perry and G. Will that dink find Colin Grant? It won't, but it will be a Cardiff corner. That was lovely work and a glorious crossfield ball from Ramsey onto the chest of uh, Ojo. Yeah, I know he's probably not going to play all 46 games, but the ones he is going to play, make sure you get a ticket to. Ooh, Agbo back into the danger area. And Simpson was in there competing. It'll be another corner from Cardiff. Turn behind. Oh, give it a go again with... Dowder. Risky ball from Ramsey, given away, left by Taylor to Leahy, holding off Perry and G as he enters the area, and it'll be a free kick on the edge of the box as a result. Shirt tug from the Cardiff right back. Yeah, again, if Cardiff give the ball away, th th their mindset is so aggressive to go forward that there are spaces and gaps to exploit. And you won't be surprised to learn, George Jacobson is lining this up. For listening to us, 22 yards out, just to the left of the D. Beautiful striker of the ball with that left foot of his. Jacobson will have been dreaming of an opportunity like this last night on his big occasion. Can he deliver? Ooh, just started too high, never drifted back down. Never worked. Ryan Alsop as a result run to demand the ball I just want him again he's learning he's on loan a little bit more confidence Adams that's a nice switch from Ramsey brings Odauda forward centrally and Odauda goes on the overlap gets the return pass from Grant but it takes a nick off Grimmer Ramsey as ever available in that little pocket on the left hand side Grant's crossing opportunity Ojo pulls away to the back post and it's not a bad downward header you know it ripples the outside of the side net in but he did just a little bit of movement there just a little two-yard dart off his man. Able to glance a header down. Yeah, you're right, Ash. He was alive to the situation. I like the uh, the move to give himself some separation, which allowed ha then to have you know a two-step jump. Needed perhaps to go back across the goalkeeper, but uh, Ashe Ojo's not had a bad afternoon. As Jacobson, I think, is getting substituted. Or is it Richard Keir? No, it is Jacobson, and he gets a well-deserved round of applause from all four sides of the ground. What a great day for him, and a good performance still. But just to finish on that point, I think Robinson's movement and, and intelligent running would actually open up more space for the likes of Ramsey. And uh, yeah, I'd like to see that Robinson change sooner rather than later. I think you're going to get your wish, John. He's got his shirt off. He and Andy Runamoka seem poised to enter the fray, but Joe Jacobson's moment at the moment replaced on the hour mark of his testimonial. Dale Taylor has been replaced also in attack. Jack Rimm is going to line up a long throw instead, looking for Farino, easily dealt with by Gudas. Potts, though, with a lovely ball away to McCleary, left-hand corner of the area, cuts in on his right foot, he can shoot from distance that time. Scuffs it awkwardly, nothing for Anik to do. Goal kick to Cardiff. Back three. Here's Robinson, first real involvement, lovely ball away to Grant, but kind of short of bodies forward at the moment. Cut Grant continues to go with it, right-footed. Oh, it's a vicious strike, and it's just pushed over by Strijek. 
Wanted no real part of that, the goalkeeper. Plenty behind it from Granton. Well, very few purple jerseys, or whatever colour you want to call it, coming forward in support. He thought, I'll take this on myself, thank you very much. Look at that direction from Dale and camera work by Jamie De Cruz as well, picking up the tractor in action. Well, it's pre-season for all of us, but they're a step ahead of us at the moment. Yeah. Ooh, that might drop kindly for Grimmer. Oh, via a deflection. It's cleared the crossbar by a yard or so. Calamitous stuff at the back. It looks like we switched to a double pivot now, doesn't it, of Wintle and Rinamotta. Oh! Vicious ball in, in swinging corner from the near side by Brecken. Mm. <laughs> Cleary, Tanner as well up against the, the veteran though. And finds Robinson in the pocket. Robinson runners off him, encourages Jamalu Collins forward. Still going Collins, clips the ball back post, looking for a Tete and it needed a good defensive header from Chris Farino to clear his lines. Yeah, Atete pulled around the back well there. Evans' run was good. It took a man away that allowed that space for Collins. That was good early involvement from Collins. Michael Wintle Kunja here in swinging right-footed delivery. It's a good tester. It's Collins who's in there. Simpson as well. Might drop for Atete. It does. It's a remarkable flying block from Richard Keogh, though. And Wickham springing to transition. Brecken. Welsh International Sam You watch the replay. I'll watch the subs. I just thought that... Oh, this was rather well. Maybe it was a little high for him, but Sconies, Jay Debar, and Anik forced into action really for the first time down low at his near post. What have we learned? Territory, I think, <laughs> haven't we? Because all the changes too tend to diminish the tempo and shape of the game. Here's Collins uh, looking to make an impression. Got Kieran Evans outside him. Robinson. Hangs loose at the edge of the area. Romeo. Crossing opportunity, but takes the shot instead and ends up with the Cardiff fans behind the goal. I think for me, what have we learned? It's where players don't quite seem on the same page. It's again, another direct ball causes Cardiff a little bit of concern. And it's going to be... Was that a penalty? It is a penalty. And a, is it outside the box? I thought the... the, the Foul happened inside the box. Cardiff are going to get the benefit of the doubt, but it's a straight ball, a flick on. Who's it going to be? It's going to be Young. Young with his right, or Leahy with his left. It'll be Leahy, and it's straight into the face of Jack Simpson, who was staggered backwards. Took him for the team there. Brave, didn't break in the wall. That's going to need a bit of treatment, I think. Number 44 for Cardiff last season. Both of them, the surname Benjamin, both Xavier and Lewis Benjamin. The latter now departed, the young goalkeeper to Wolves. Both had bench appearances with the same shirt number on the back. He's wintle into the box. Oh, can Robinson create a half a yard to get a shot off? He can't. Forces it wide instead to Collins. It was an acrobatic effort from Etete. Here's Benjamin. Playing as the right-hand side of the centre-backs now. It's a lovely little take from Andy Runamata. Under pressure, and gifts the ball away, puts Xavier Benjamin under pressure. And a remarkable clearance off the line from Dimitrios Gutas. Somehow facing his own goal. Yeah, in the pre-season for Cardiff City. Deluge of chances either. There's Tanner up against the young substitute Woodhouse who's just come on. Finds Callum Robinson. Tanner wants the ball back and out muscled the youngster, but two converging defenders. Young and Farino snuff out the opportunity for Tanner. It'll be a corner though. Good positive work there from Ollie Tanner at premium again, and they. And in fact, that is the final whistle. It's ended goalless here at Adams Park, Cardiff. Final pre-season fixture ahead of this 22, 23, 24 championship campaign that kicks off next Sunday at Ellen Road, at the home of relegated Leeds United.
A frustrating afternoon for the travelling Bluebirds faithful. Glorious sunshine here on Joe Jacobson testimonial. Yeah. A positive first half display. Cardiff were unable to replicate.